My name's Ed Matthews, and I'm going to talk you through a few hints and tips on how to catch them on the method. Well, that's been in the water about five minutes, and I was getting a hell of a lot of liners. Must be fish attacking the feeder. Real quite savage liners. The tip was bouncing around. The method wee, really can be a devastating technique. You can really build a swim and really get it rocking. And as it's proved now, the results can be quite fast. Just steer her towards the net. There we go. A lovely young fish. My rig's all twisted up and kinked and it's to be honest with you it's done its job. So I'm going to change that now. Um, what I'm using is the quick stop on hair rigs so I can change my bait quite quickly. And that goes on to this uh, changing bead. So I can just, there's a loop on the end of the hook link and you can see how quick I managed to take it off. I've got another one here already out of the packet. The four inch rigs and literally straight onto that quick change bead, pull the beaded sleeve back over and I'm ready to go again. I'm just going to run through the method mix I've been using today and like I mentioned earlier I'm using the Corum Easy Method Feeder and the beauty of that is I'm a bit lazy when it comes to mixing my ground bait so that feeder really plays into my hands because I do like to use coarse items and I don't want to go to the rigmarole of sifting and riddling all my ground bait. Today I'm using F1 Green ground bait I'm using it 50-50 with Tigerfish from Sonyu Baits. Like I say, I mix 50-50. And along with that, hemp and krill, straight out the tin. F1 corn. normal yellow stuff. All the mix, the, the juice, the whole lot's going into that. And strawberry corn, personal favourite of mine. And something I like using on the hair as well. You can see with pull caps, dead straightforward. All that red juice and the corn. And I find that half of a bag of each so a whole quantity of bag in total and three tins and the juice all mixed up is about the right consistency. All you'll have to do is top a bit of water up into there throughout the day as the weather dries it out. There's another one. This one's just ripped off. Tight cast to the margin. You can see my rod absorbing the fish's lunges. I'm using the Corum 10 foot feeder rod and I've got the heavy tip in because he's a quite pokey fish. Give me a bit of, you know, there's, there's no messing around with the bites. It's a fantastic rod, well finished and a joy to use. And I've matched that up with a Corum KMR reel, this is a 3000. It's more than adequate for playing these fish on. And 
she comes. Another one in the net. What a wonderful way to end a session. It's gorgeous fish. It was on my last cast of the day. I hope you've learned a few things today about method feeder fishing. It's a fantastic way to spend an afternoon.